समीना शेख यर ऑन माई स्पेशल शो स्ट्रीट डायरीज और आज मेरे साथ में रॉक स्टार एक्ट्रेस नरगिस फाकरी आने वाली है वी आर ऑन द स्ट्रीट्स ऑफ मुंबई एंड वी आर जस्ट गोइंग टू मेक हर हैव द स्पेशल सैंडविच मेड बाई भैया राइट नाउ सो लेट्स वेलकम नरगिस फाकरी ऑन माई शो सो ऑन माई शो टूडे राइट नाउ आई हैव नरगिस फाकरी एंड It's very surprising. Sorry. I'm so sorry. It's so surprising to make her have this sandwich. You're gonna make me have the sandwich. I'm definitely gonna hold it for you. It looks amazing. Yeah. Vegetable sandwich. Have right. you ever tried a street sandwich ever? Yes, many years ago. Yeah. And did you like it? The taste of it. Yes, yes. I tried everything. I used to eat all the street food. So quickly, let's not waste Nargis Fakri's time over here. Let us take her to a confined place where we can talk more about street diaries only with Nargis. Yes. Very good. Let's go. यू नो आपको जब भी देखती हूँ लिटरली मुझे रॉक स्टार के डायलॉग्स अपने आप रटते हो जाते हैं एंड आई कीप ऑन थिंकिंग अबाउट दैट अलॉट एंड दैट वॉज द डेब्यू मूवी बिकॉज इट वॉज माई फेवरेट माई फेवरेट इवन नाउ आई कैन स्टिल वॉच इट बट समाइम्स यू नीड अ डिफरेंट मूड सो रॉक स्टार के सेट्स पर आपने क्या खाना खाया था जो आपको बहुत अच्छा लगा था आई रिमेंबर देर वॉज अ लॉर ऑफ दिस ब्रेड दैट वॉज वेरी डिफरेंट कश्मीरी ब्रेड एंड देन अ लॉर ऑफ डिफरेंट मीट डिशेज सो दैट वॉज रियली गुड एंड आई रिमेंबर वी वी हैड बस पान और समथिंग समथिंग लाइक दैट बट वी सैट ऑन द फ्लोर एंड देर वॉज ऑल द फूड ऑन द फ्लोर एंड वी ऑल सैट एंड वी वुड ईट टुगेदर सो दैट वॉज एक्चुअली रियली नाइस द फूड वॉज गुड बट द नाइस पार्ट वॉज बींग टुगेदर एंड ईटिंग टुगेदर When you came to Mumbai, when you were a part of you know Bollywood, and you start working over here, what was that meal you would prefer consuming the most? I didn't have a preference. I was just very excited to try every kind of food that I could get my hands on because I don't know. My fans know that I love to eat and I love to cook. So anytime someone would say try this, I would always try it. Yeah. And is that the reason that you ended up trying so many items that it also like cost you for your health sometimes? <laughs> well, actually, no one warned me that I shouldn't be eating street food, so I was eating street food everywhere, anywhere, like wherever someone gave food, I was there. And then, yes, I got sick many times. I get to see a lot of videos of yours on Instagram, mm-hmm. and the most interesting one is when you're doing the home cleaning and all. Home cleaning. Yes, it's there's very. One there's one that that, it and it became video. it became viral. You oh, know, that right? was the that was during COVID. So yeah. when I when am I going to see you home cooking video? When are you going to like share some videos of that? All the Proper. Time. No, 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 I'm always putting uh, cooking videos. That means you don't watch my Instagram. She's lying, guys. No, I have watched your comedy on it. <laughs> No, I cook a lot. I make a lot of different things. I've made butter chicken. I've made rogan josh. No, what is it? Or I've made lamb with spinach, like a lamb sog. I've made the eggplant bang it, bang and bartha. Is that what it is? So I make a lot of different things. And which one has been your favorite? Um, I like this Thai dish that I make. It's called larb gai. So I don't know if you know what that is. It's like a salad with chick minced chicken. So that's my favorite. And how do you prefer your chai otherwise? Chai or coffee? My You're a chai person or a coffee person? I'm a coffee person, but I just recently decided to take a break from coffee, so I've been drinking a lot of tea mm-hmm. and chai. Yeah. And my favorite, I like it when it's extra mas- no, masala-y, like yeah. spicy. Yeah. And I think that is what yeah, he's this made. Is, yeah. This is yeah, what this can, is can you just try? You you want to try? No, no, I want you to. You try. want me to try. Okay. Do to try the chai. Very good, but it's too much sugar. Coming back to your working days, struggling days. Me, what would you consume more? You know, struggling days. Big phase hota hai where you prefer having a certain meal only, or you know, your consumption is less. For me, I love to eat chocolate, brownies, ice cream, like all the desserts. Yeah. Because you know why? When you're struggling, you're sad, yeah. and then all the sugar hits the the dopamine. Yeah. You get the dopamine hit. Yeah. So that's why. And when it comes to when you're happy in a very good mood, you're like literally, oh my god, you know, I'm going to rock the world completely. तब आप क्या करते हो? तब कब क्या खाते हो? Usually when I'm happy like that and I'm like amped up, that means I'm going to the gym. I'm sleeping good. You know, all my uh, eggs are in the basket properly. My ducks in a row, whatever that saying is. And usually I'm not so hungry because I'm busy. I'm active, and I'm actually craving more greens like vegetables and salads. 
and healthier things. Mm. Isn't that funny? It's, it's you're, good. Yeah, well the mood, I mean, maybe not every, what do you eat when you're happy? Do you eat more when you're happy? No, I don't. Do eat, I yes, get right? conscious. Yes, and do you eat more when you're sad? Yes. More bad food, yes. more carby food. Yes, because it has to do with the way our body uh, deals with the sugar and our insulin and the dopamine spikes. Yeah. And then when we're happy, we don't need that. So we want more leafy greens, more healthy choices. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's it. Do you also prefer sleeping, you know, on time? Like, yes. or do you are like someone like who get, you know, all this insomnia ho jata aapko? No, I don't have insomnia. Mm -hmm. I love to sleep. Mm -hmm. It's only when I'm working that they don't love me to sleep. Because <laughs> when you work, you can't sleep. Mm -hmm. But I love my time off. Because I will sleep 10 hours at least. Oh, awesome. Yeah, I love it. Like today I only had 8 hours and I feel very tired. Hmm. And since I had to, like I spoke about this especially yeah. because so many times in the night when we don't sleep on time, we yeah. end up eating. Yes, exactly. And What's you know why? Because yeah. when you don't sleep, your body is stressed and you produce cortisol. And when you don't get sleep yes. and you produce that stress hormone, for some reason you crave those carbs. Yeah. Have you ever noticed when you, if you, I mean, I don't party. But if you party all night and don't sleep, and obviously if you drink, that's a lot of sugar, then the next day you want like pizza or rice, fried rice, all the bad food, right? Yes. It's like your body like is all stressed. That's oh. why it wants that. So sleeping is a very important part of being slim and healthy and your mental health being mm -hmm. good. And taking care of your mental health yes. and your physical health yes, is your yes, child. Let's, do this one. let's let's try try number two. Try number two. I like to do it on my see. I like to cook my own food, make my own tea, everything because at least I know what I'm putting inside of it. Let's see. You know, I had gone uh, for one of these meetings with guys, you know, when you go and see and meet the guys and he changed the chai yeah. at least four times because mean? of the sugar. Yeah. Four times at a hotel. So, you know, I, I can see that you're very particular about that. I mean, I think it's a good thing. Yeah, if you drink things that are so sweet, it's yeah. not good for your body. Later in life, you'll have probably some kind of diabetic issue. Hmm. So, I prefer to make sure i don't even like the taste of too much sugar yeah. unless i know if i'm gonna go out and have a dessert i know it's gonna be sweet yeah yeah then i'm prepared but if i'm drinking my coffee or chai i prefer less sugar there was a lot of myth about you when you entered bollywood myth myth actually myth, myth. myth. <laughs> which was about is nargis fucking muslim because of the name uh -huh. but i recently got to know something else and i would like to know from you what would you like to know you're not a Muslim, you're a Christian basically and people thought all this while that you're a Muslim. Have you? You're spiritual. Yeah. Which is okay, that, that's your belief. Yes. But I'm saying that you know, people always used to think that Nargis naam hai. But that's because what people think. Yeah. But I'm a spiritual person. And you're always been spoken about that, you know. Ha, have spiritual. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't adhere to anybody's religion. Hmm. I adhere to my own spirituality and my own self-growth and being a good human. I think I really need to spend one day with her because I think I learn a lot from her. No, yeah, it's, maybe, <laughs> this 15 minutes is not going to work. But coming back to your work and Bollywood, mein, what was that? Kiska dabba aapko acha lagta tha? You know, maybe Ranbir, uh, Varundhavan for that matter, Ilyana. I mean, like whose food did... I mean, the thing is, I don't think anyone... I can't remember. You know, we're always on location. We were shooting a lot. I, like, I was very lucky to shoot on location a lot. So it was more that people would order and then share their food. It's not like they brought it from home. Mm. So I don't know whose daba came from the house, but the food that everyone ordered, everyone was very nice to share. So that was really nice. So like I said earlier, sometimes it's not about the food. It's about sharing with the people you enjoy sitting at a table with. And coming back to Bollywood, what projects are you working on before I let you go? Oh my gosh, well I have a, so it's my first time being a, being an actress on a web series, like a streaming series, which is really cool. It's called Tatlu Baz, sorry my accent, I don't know if you could yeah. get it. And uh, I'm in that and that's supposed to come out in October and I'm very excited because I got to play something a character, not something. This, mm. I say something because this character was so not me and so different from who I am. <laughs> and we shot in uh, Benares, which was very interesting as well. I got to see Benares and that was on my bucket list so I could check that off and had some 
food, which I can check the food off there and got to sightsee a bit. And uh, yeah, I hope everybody tunes in to Epic On because that's where it will be showing at the end of October. Did you consume Banaras Pan? Not Pan. I tasted Pan once and I think that for me it was not really tasty. Okay. Obviously it's an acquired taste that but I don't think it is it good for you? No, you you can't just have it like once yeah. in a blue moon. You can't Yeah, it. but what's in it? Something that's not really healthy. Some things which you can avoid. When you're having a mita pan, you can avoid yeah. certain elements in that, which okay. is okay, but you yeah. can't have the other ones which has like everyone who chooses pan has bad teeth. That, the bad teeth yeah, yeah, so I don't want bad teeth because teeth are important. Teeth don't are don't important. have bad teeth. Yeah. <laughs> You need your teeth. Let me tell you, I came from the dentist this morning. Yeah. You need your teeth. <laughs> don't eat sugar. Don't eat bond. Don't eat bad food. And brush your teeth and floss. Don't forget. One special message for your fans to always look out for Nargis Fan. Guys, I love you. <laughs> I'm so happy you're my fans. And I can't wait for you to see me on screen again. And I hope you're really going to enjoy Tatlu Baz coming out, I think, at the end of October on Epic On. So stay tuned. And yes. Kisses to you. Last thing what you could say for your fans is, Hi, this is Nargis Fakhri and you're watching me exclusively on Street Diaries only on Zoom. Oh my god, I won't even remember that. Hi, I'm Nargis Fakhri and you're watching me exclusively on Street Diaries only on Zoom. So with me today, I had Nargis Fakhri, who has street food diaries. But we also have been cautious that every food is not made for our tummy. And I'm sure a lot of people have got the right message from her. It was lovely to have Nargis Fakhri doing this special show. So please do not forget to watch my special show, Street Diaries, every Saturday at 3pm, only on Zoom YouTube channel. Let's see it.